Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Friday, September 13, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in Friday College Football in just a moment. First, quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free $60 on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Again, it's a great way to give DocSports a trial run. Click on the link below the video and get set up for that free $60 account. All right, well, hey, free pick winner here last night. We like that. The under between uh, Carolina and Tampa Bay to open up the new week of football. But, oh, my God, was it a horrible game to watch. Uh, just absolutely pathetic play. Even Jameis Winston. I, I know the announcers are praising Aikman, Buck. They're, they're praising Jameis Winston when he has a good drive. He's bad. Cam Newton's even worse. Cam Newton looks like he's got some kind of issue with his shoulder, or he's just completely fallen off the cliff when it comes to his abilities at quarterback. It's one or the other, but it was pathetic. However, uh, we were able to cash the free play on the under here, so we're happy about that part of it. But, uh, man, I'm telling you, 0-2 start at home to the NFL season. Obviously, Ron Rivera is squarely on the hot seat right now as Carolina heads into week three. Nice win for Tampa Bay, but don't expect much out of them for the rest of the season. Jameis and the Bucks will have their good weeks once in a while. They're also going to have bad weeks along the way. All right, so free pick coming up tonight in college football. We'll get to that. First, a quick note, my football plays for the weekend have been released, have been posted over at DocSports.com. We've got uh, nine plays in all, five on Saturday in college football, four on Sunday in the NFL. Thought we were going to have a Monday play, but with that Sam Darnold news coming out, we were going to lay a couple of points, two and a half, with the Browns, but it, the adjustment goes up to six six and a half and just decided to pass Monday Night Football this week. Uh, but we do have four plays again on Sunday. Seven star main event in the NFL tops the card. You know, we bought our last uh, NFL top play cash last week easily with the New England Patriots over Pittsburgh. Saturday, we'll look to kick off a new win streak in college football. We've got a six star play on Saturday that highlights a five play college football card. It begins at 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific and goes right into early Saturday evening. Sunday Saturday's games available, Saturday's games available, number one last year in college football and NFL combined. And we go into this weekend on a 32 and 21 college football run and in the NFL, as you know, 62 and 37 with a couple of pushes along the way, 63% against the spread. So let's rack it up and let's do it over the weekend again with those nine plays. Five Saturday, four Sunday, six star on Saturday tops the college card, seven star on Sunday tops the NFL card. All nine plays available right now. You can go grab them right now over at DocSports.com. I also posted a CF. NFL play for this weekend. We're 60% this season, 111 and 77 long term in the CFL. We passed last week in the Canadian Football League after cashing a couple of weeks ago with Calgary. We're back in action with one play. By the way, it's also a Saturday play and it's also available right now as we speak. As far as everything else, UFC, I will post by 11 p.m. Pacific on Friday night for Saturday's card. NASCAR, we're going to look to go to uh, 15 and 4 with our current run and go up over $5,000 one since early May. Those plays, my NASCAR plays, will be up by 11 p.m. Pacific Saturday night for Sunday's race. The playoffs begin on Sunday in NASCAR right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And also WNBA back in playoff action on Sunday. We're off to a winning start, 1-0 in the WNBA playoffs. 42-20-2 is our current run in the WNBA. We will be in action, and our play will be posted on Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time. So a whole lot of plays going this week, and don't miss out on any sport, any place from us over at DocSports.com. And if you jump on that free $60 account, well, there's a great start uh, to getting the picks for the weekend. All right, let's get to our free pick for Friday. Uh, we're going to turn to the Washington State-Houston game, the game at Energy Stadium in Houston, Texas. And listen, this total's a little bit low. This, I thought it opened low at 75, and it went down to 72 and a half, 73. Right now it's 73 and a half in a lot of shops, and that's what we're going to use to grade this one. We do like the over. Listen, I know Washington State has 
piled up points and yardage against a couple of outman programs, but we're still seeing what we like from a Mike Leach-led offense. You know, I know he's got a new quarterback, but hey man, they've been saying this since he was at Texas Tech. It is the system more than it is the quarterback a lot of times under Mike Leach. So we think they're going to be fine against the Houston defense. And as far as that Cougar offense, listen, I know they've only scored 68 points combined in their first two games. They had a feeling out process in that first quarter against Oklahoma. They had to get used to uh, the new coaching staff led by Dana Hogerson. But if you look at their next five quarters of football, the final three quarters against Oklahoma, the first two quarters against Prairie View, they ended up scoring 65 points over those five quarters of play. Now, we just mentioned they were kind of sluggish at first, getting used to Dana Hogerson and his staff opening quarter game one against the Sooners. They ended up scoring 31 points in that game. And after they put 34 on the board of the first half against Prairie View, they just shut things down over the final two quarters. I think with this total uh, being down a little bit from where it would be if Houston was putting up, you know, if they would have put up, you know, 80 points <laughs> against Prairie View last week or 70 points, I think you would have seen a total that would have been probably where it should have been. Instead, it opens in the mid 70s, it goes down, it's inched up a little bit since it first went down. We still like to go over the total. We think Washington State and Houston will play over 73 and a half in Friday night college football. All right, listen, that's going to do it for us for Friday. Don't forget about Friday's baseball, by the way, over at DocSports.com. I lost on Thursday. We'll look to rebound and get back in the win column on Friday's card. That play will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time on Friday. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We'll be right back here Saturday, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. In fact, going to try to get up Saturday's video with a free pick from Saturday's college football football uh, even a couple of hours before that so be sure to check back uh, and if you subscribe you'll get the little notice that we've got a new video going so if you like the videos click on that thumbs up button if you don't click on the thumbs down uh, and also subscribe we do appreciate those who have done so thus far scott sprites or docsports.com put friday in the win column right back here bright and early saturday morning in fact not even bright before the sun comes up we'll talk to you then